everybody and welcome i'm fg and this is another auction that included spaced out patch report because on the 14th of january yesterday while i was sleeping thanks clay we got a new update for spaced out so we've got new things to talk about ah i'm excited because two well actually kind of three things happened first of all you can now opt into testing the new stuff or if you don't want to have a new update every three weeks because you have a colony that you keep playing on and off and you don't want it to break there is now a testing branch if you don't know how to get into the testing branch let me demonstrate it's super easy you just right click on the game in your steam library you go to properties you click which is, looks different now steam has actually updated this you then uh, click on betas and then select the beta you would like to opt into and then just grab the public testing public testing branch uh you don't need any codes you don't need any passwords or whatever you just get into that and they said that they're doing updates every three weeks on that branch so uh expect your colonies to break it's going to be great and um yeah you get the new stuff uh immediately you can look at it you can test it you can break it you can give feedback it's pretty awesome it's easy to do and if you want to just disable that again you just go back over here right click um, properties betas and then you just none and then every time you like either opt in or opt out the game will download new files over on steam so you get the correct game version unfortunately you can't have both versions installed at the same time but it's usually just a really small download so that doesn't really matter all right let's get to let's get into it into the nitty-gritty of 447728 um so the public test branch was the first thing the other two things that has been changed is a rocketry so the rocketry as you can see here um uh, rocketry has actually been changed in that it's now much more like base game rocketry not necessarily in the way it functions because you still have the dlc mechanics of where you actually have the module at the top the piloting module that you actually have to like fill with things and whatnot but you will find more modules that you know from base game so liquid cargo container solid cargo container there was um oxidizer modules and that sort of stuff to make your fuel work better and all of those um things we will take a look at that in just a moment in game but uh just to tell you what's new about rocketry so it's much more like base game so a lot of the stuff that we'll look at in rocketry you will actually be more familiar with which is actually pretty helpful i think um that's pretty that's that's really awesome because that's going to make it easier to handle rockets if you've touched rockets before uh, if you haven't touched rockets before it's still going to be interesting to deal with that's for sure um and then the other big thing is when i'm really actually happy about happy about that is oxygen masks were changed so oxygen masks are sort of a step before exosuits because they will not protect your duplicants from huge temperature changes so um, they will not protect them from like really cold or really hot temperatures but they will supply them with oxygen with with means which means that they can go into areas where there is no breathable atmosphere that also means they can theoretically go out into space like up at the top of the um of your little planetoid but that means they can also go down where there is like lots of carbon dioxide and build stuff there and whatnot um so it's actually a really good addition but they were really annoying because you needed to submerge them in oxygen like they didn't have a pipe supply you needed to submerge them in oxygen and you needed metal for them now it's actually been changed a lot and um you now supply the station with oxygen and the station looks a lot more like the exosuit station that you're familiar with there is now the oxygen mask gates and then you have the workbench where you make the oxygen masks and you make the oxygen masks from stone so let's just let's just do it let's just quickly jump into this so i made like a little 
example over here so it's actually really easy so just don't ignore that that's just power because we need to power it so this is the aforementioned crafting table not actually workbench crafting table my bad and you just queue it up it's just oxygen mask made out of sedimentary rock so no more no more metal needed which is really good because holy 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 heck <laughs> they shoot through your metal really fast so you just make it there and then you build the oxygen mask door which is this lovely little thing here don't mind the tutorial messages um you just built this and you built the gate the checkpoint which is just like if you've ever done if you've ever for example done exosuits it's exactly like that uh duplicants will walk here they will get to the to the dock and then they'll get to the checkpoint and then they're like oh i did put an, an oxygen mask so they'll grab it um which gets supplies from here and then they just walk off with the oxygen mask you can also now supply the dock with actual oxygen straight up just into into it as you can see here so it's much more like the exosuit docks so the oxygen just gets pumped right into right into the dock and you find that all in stations just like the whole exosuit and jet suit stuff there's the crafting table here's the checkpoint you only need one checkpoint uh, which obviously is also rotatable and then the placement of the mask dog just works completely like they do with the exosuit you just do this and then the one thing you need to connect is obviously the ventilation with the gas pipes because otherwise you won't be able to use them so we have a little duplicate making one right now it takes it's gonna take forever um to do that because we're on like really slow speed so let's just speed it up real quick just so we can see it in action all right let's go here make this like super important alarm alarm yellow alert go 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 thank you and then i would like you to move here which i can't tell you to do for some reason oh because you need to put on the thing first so now we can see it now they walk well they walk there because you can't put them here so because uh, i can't force them there because that, that the game doesn't recognize that let's grab this make this digging really important and then have them go past it so they're not actually doing it the question is why are you not doing it oh clearance no this is weird yeah clearance vacancy yeah that's that's oh no let's do let's do it always i just want to see it on them i think it's because yeah it's confused because this one has a one right now let's go let's hurry this up i just want to see you wear that and then duh. so the model hasn't changed it's still made out of metal even though it's rock because oxygen included like that is a magical and whatnot but there you have it that's the new that's the new oxygen mask and they just get supplied with oxygen and i like it a lot so this is the obviously the fill level of the oxygen mask and I'm really a fan of the new oxygen mask mechanics. All right. And then the other thing, obviously, that is new is the rocketry shenanigans. So rocketry stuff is not like in vanilla where you just, uh, yeah, in base game where you just go into the rocketry trap and you just clonk, 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 build the rocket. You build the platform first in the DLC and then you click on new rocket and then you build your rocket. So we have the stuff that we know from the... Um, dlc before like the sugar engine which is completely new for example but but we now also have uh petroleum engines on for the dlc rockets um so there's there's lots of options that you have now there's carbon dioxide sugar steam small petroleum big petroleum engine we have now the oxidizers are back so small solid oxidizer large solid oxidizer tank to make your rocket go faster so that's really really nice um, and then we've obviously got the um, the tanks that look a lot more like they did in base game now, which is the cargo bay, um, the large cargo bay, large liquid fuel, small liquid fuel, etc. Like those those tanks that we all know and love from a base game, which makes it a lot easier to like translate what you know from base game, obviously to, do, to the DLC. And that's it. 
for the newest patch content from January 14th. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.